YouTube. How are you now? So Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone Season 4 reintroduced the Car 98K Marksman Rifle. It's basically a sniper rifle but in the Marksman Rifle category and it's pretty good. So I was able to get my first uh, DNA bomb with it but with the looping streaks so kind of a bit of a cheese with the looping streaks but first DNA bomb with the Car 98K because uh, it's does really good damage. It's a one-shot kill at any range as long as you're hitting uh, the upper torso and above and the upper torso uh, body area is actually pretty generous so it extends quite a bit into the stomach so it's not just chest it's pretty much torso and above but if you're hitting like at the waist level it might not might not be a one-shot but one-shot kill above that at any range so very good and it has good handling so you can basically spec it out to have close to assault rifle handling so ADS speed under 300 milliseconds which is very fast for a one-shot kill weapon all the other sniper rifles have significantly slower aim down sights and then sprint to fire as well you can have sprint to fire around 200 milliseconds as well depending on how you spec it out but it does have its downsides so the the main downside is going to be the slow rechambering speed very slow rechambering speed so if you're not hitting those one shot kills so if you're missing your shot or you're getting hit markers in a head-to-head -head situation it's likely you're not going to survive that and it's somewhat difficult to take on multiple enemies as well due to that rechambering speed because you might be able to get one but by the time you chamber that next round you're probably already dead from the other person shooting you so it does have its limits and balancing but it's still very very good uh, you're going to see it a lot. <laughs> in games, I've been seeing it everywhere pretty much. Uh, people use it as a aggressive gun. People use it as just a regular sniper hanging back in the map. Because it's good at both, but I would say it's more for the more aggressive moving around the map type thing. So if you want to move around the map quickly and get on target quickly and get those quick one-shot kills, I would say it's better for that than just hanging in the back sniping because uh, there are better sniper rifles for that like the the cat AMR and stuff that have one shot kill potential to anywhere in the body versus torso and above like the Karnan AK but very versatile very good all around uh, especially for getting those quick quick kills in close quarter situations that kind of stuff so I like it I like it a lot but like I said it does have it's drawbacks with that slow, very slow uh, rechambering speed. So you got to be accurate with it. It's very high, high risk, high reward. So if you can get those one shot kills, it's satisfying, very satisfying, feels rewarding. But if you miss your shots or you're taking on more than you can you can handle, you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time. So just got to play it to its strengths. Uh, use cover appropriately if you're planning on fighting multiple enemies because gonna have to duck in and out of cover if you're taking more than one enemy on at the same time without getting murked uh, the way that I run it I have it all specced into handling and stealth so the flinch it's pretty high if you're getting shot uh, you can use attachments to lower that flinch resistance or to better that flinch resistance so it doesn't flinch as hard because uh, it flinches pretty hard when you're getting shot without any attachments so that could end up getting you uh, losing gunfights and stuff like that but shouldn't really be challenging people you don't even know it so yeah this was my first uh, DNA bomb I didn't even realize what it was when I got I was like what is this <laughs> but basically it's the new nuke that kills uh, all the enemy players, it doesn't kill your team like the original nuke, and it also doesn't. You're not a hacker. We know you're not a hacker. I got called a, a hacker for it. <laughs> for use of the DNA bomb. But yeah, it, you got a guy. it kills the uh, the entire enemy team without killing your team, and it also doesn't reset the lobby either. So I don't think they have the N MGB anymore in the game. The original nuke. And it's also 25 kills, I think, instead of 30. But with the way the streaks are looping right now, I don't really know how many kills I had. I don't think it was anywhere near 25 gun kills, though. <laughs> These kill streaks right now count towards kill streaks. Uh, 
So if you can get kill streaks looping, you can get quite a few kills with some kill streaks. So. Yeah, I've been enjoying using it so far. Um, on mouse and keyboard, it's still really good, but on controller, also really good as well because it does have aim assist like the marksman rifles do. The rotational aim assist, uh, stickier aim assist, even when you're not ADS, unlike the, the regular sniper rifle. So it's a one shot sniper basically, but with marksman rifle handling, marksman rifle aim assist, all that. So. Very good. I don't think it's quite overpowered. It is quite frustrating to die to a one-shot kill weapon that you can't really do anything about. <laughs> so I understand on that end, because uh, a lot of people are using it, so if they have good aim, it's quite frustrating to play in the lobbies where you just get one shot the moment you run into an enemy. But at the same time, you can use it too, you know? It's a good effect, so mixed feelings on it. I think it's really good, but I also don't think it's super overpowered, uh, just because that fire rate is really slow. So, but again, it can be can be quite frustrating to fight against if enemies have good aim and they're just one shotting constantly. Hip fire is actually pretty good too, so much better than sniper rifle. So you can actually get away with. Just hip firing from close range. Still get the kills, you know? Whereas sniper rifles, if you hip fire, it's pretty much just a guessing game where that bullet's gonna go. Because that marksman rifle. Marksman rifle hip fire is much better than sniper rifle, so. I would say the Car 98 is definitely the best aggressive sniper for sure. Not as forgiving as some of the slower snipers that have uh, more forgiving one shot kill potential but still very good so yeah this is the version of the car 98k that i'm running for aggressive play and also stealth so got the hrms suppressor so it only hurts your recoil control but it improves bullet velocity and also keeps you off the radar so recoil doesn't matter on a sniper rifle i have the bryson carbine s barrel so this improves your handling uh, at the cost of some range and recoil recoil doesn't matter and range also doesn't really matter uh, because the one-shot kill potential is not affected because it's infinite. It just hurts that first uh, slightly more slightly more uh, forgiving damage range to the arms. Uh, DR6 hand stop improves handling and then no stock improves handling significantly uh, across the board. I do have a optic on there because I'm not too big a fan of the iron sights, especially at longer ranges. Uh, but you can go with the iron sights if you wanted to and use some other attachments but i don't want a laser that's visible and that kind of stuff so it's for stealth i just prefer the more clarity of the optic so with this build uh 273 millisecond aim down sight 204 millisecond sprint to fire speed so very fast handling basically assault rifle level uh, on the slower end of assault rifle for a one-shot kill weapon so yeah definitely fun to use uh, but yeah it does have a trade-off so still still feel more comfortable with like an assault rifle that kind of stuff uh, because I'm not really a sniper to begin with, but I found quite a bit of success with it. So, like I said, I got the first DNA bomb with it, and I've done pretty well with it as well. So, it is very good, even for a not sniper like me. But, yeah, fun to use. Definitely check it out. Yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.